Hello students, welcome back. From this session, let us start with chapter 4 of unit number 3. So, let us start with the syllabus. So, basically your chapter 4 consists of build tools and uh, continuous integration tools. So, under build tools we will be talking about Maven. So, we will be talking about what is Maven build tool, what is its use, what happens with this build tool and all. Then we will be talking about continuous integration tool which is called as Jenkins. So, we will be talking about what is Jenkins, what is continuous integration, how Jenkins is useful in continuous integration, we will be talking about its architecture and we will be trying to build a pipeline using the Jenkins. Okay? So, this is basically the syllabus that we will be covering in the fourth chapter. Let us start today with understanding what you, do you mean by Maven and what do you mean by a build tool. Okay? So, Maven is basically a build tool which automates whatever the process or the sequence of steps that your developers are performing in building the Java project as well as in managing the Java project. Okay? So, it is basically a build tool which automates everything that is done by the developer while he is developing, deploying uh, your particular Java project. So, let us understand what do you mean by building this Java project. So, building Java project is nothing but the steps that are involved to make it a complete file which is ready for deployment. So, you compile it, you test it and you package it into an executable code which can be deployed in any environment that you want. So, these steps are nothing but building your Java project. So, what is the main purpose of Maven is? The first thing is it automates everything as I told you. So, it uh, automatically compiles, it automatically tests, it automatically packages whatever you have uh, written your particular project. Not only that, it also reduces the time of your particular developers. Now, how, how does this happen? See, generally, whenever you develop any particular project, it requires lot of libraries. Yes. So, your Maven build tool will automatically search for those libraries, download it and add it to your particular project, which generally we, we should do manually, but your Maven build tool does everything automatically. So, in this way, it is reducing the time span of your developers also. Okay? Now, let us see what are the basic benefits. So, as I told you, without Maven, what you have to do, say suppose I want a library for my particular project, I have to manually search for that library, I have to download it, then I have to open my project and I have to put that particular library or add that library to my particular project. But what is your Maven doing? Without Maven, this is the manual work, but with Maven, what are we doing? Just you need to specify which library I want for my particular project. It automatically searches for it, downloads it and not only that, it will add that particular library to your project also. After doing this, it will compile, it will test and it will package it into a deployable executable code. This is done everything automatically with the help of Maven build tool. Okay? So, now let us understand about one important file inside this maven which is called as the pom.xml file which is nothing but your project object model file. Okay? So, when your maven is doing this build process and it is converting, it is compiling, it is testing and converting into an executable code, it writes a particular file which is called as pom.xml file which is a very crucial file in your maven which, co which contains the various details related to your particular project. So, your pom.xml file basically acts as a guide to your Maven build tool which tells you what exactly is this project, how you need to build it. Okay, it gives you every clear picture about your project, every detail about your, about your project and how your Maven tool has to actually build that project. Everything is detailedly explained in this pom.xml file. Okay, so, now what exactly do we mean by this pom.xml file? It is said to be a configuration file which contains all the needed information of your particular project that helps in building and managing. So, your developers by looking at this pom.xml file, they will easily understand how to build that particular project and how to manage that particular project. Okay? So, let us just have a look at the template of this pom.xml file. So, this are the tags that you can see in your pom.xml file. 
okay so this is how your pom.xml file for every project java project that you are developing will actually look like starting with the first one which is the project it's the main tag which tells you that inside this particular tag the project tag you have all the information related to the project that you have developed the next one you have is the group id which talks about who is the owner of this particular project okay so in this case example uh, dot com is the owner of the particular project okay the next one you have is artifact id so artifact id is nothing but the title of your project so in this example email project is the title of my particular project that i have developed okay so artifact id is the title of your project group id is the owner of that particular project the next one you have is version so you know that as we keep on doing changes in the project we release them into the market as various versions so which is the current version of the project is written under the tag which is called as version now all these are not written by the developer it is automatically generated by your maven build tool please do remember that okay next you have is the dependencies tag now what do you mean by dependencies dependencies are nothing but they are the libraries that are needed for your particular project okay so your project needs n number of libraries which uh, help the particular project to get executed so dep under dependencies you have all the different informations of the library so in this example uh, there's one library which is called as mail okay so i simply mention i want mail for my particular project so your maven build tool will search for it download it and it will attach it into this pom.xml file okay so this is basically the structure of your pom.xml file which talks about the complete information of your particular project not only that it also guides you as to what to be added how to build it how to convert it into an executable file right so this is all about your uh, pom.xml now let's talk about the next one which is called as the maven build life cycle so i told you maven is a build tool so what does it do it builds your particular project now there are various several steps that are involved by your maven tool while it is building your particular project so let's see what are these various steps talking about the first one you have is clean okay so clean is basically let's say suppose you have done some changes in your project right and you are freshly building it so whatever the previous build information is there everything will be deleted when you call for a function which is called as clean this is the first step the second step you have is compile right so this particular command or this particular step will compile the java project that you have written the next one you have is test okay once the compilation is completed and your project is converted into a, a byte code the particular byte code will be tested here right the next step you have is package package will basically convert your whole project into a single executable file which can be directly deployed into whichever environment you want generally in package the output will be either a jar file or a war file okay the next one you have is install so under install say suppose there are certain libraries which are still needed for your project to run so automatically your maven build tool will install all the necessary packages that are required for your particular project okay the last one you have is deploy so deploy basically now puts your complete project uh, which is in the form of a jar file or a war file into the online server now after deploy your project is ready for every user to actually use it in the market okay so these are various uh, life cycle life cycle phases of your particular maven right now generally this build tool is automatic if it all it automatically does all these steps but say suppose you want to do manually you don't want all these steps you want only few of the steps the that you want to build then what you have to do you have to use this commands you can see the commands here mvn package mvn install okay so these are the commands that you manually type into the editor and you perform those particular build life cycles okay if you want it automatic it does automatic if you want to do it manual then you have to use these commands to perform that particular step in your build life cycle now the beauty of eclipse uh, like ide in which we will be actually performing the maven projects is the you need not use these commands you have certain gui already built in uh, gui features here as you can see 
So say suppose this is my particular project called as sample maven java project ok. When I right click on it you have an option called as run as. In this run as only you can see you have maven build, you have maven clean, you have maven install, you have maven test. So the life cycle steps are already inside this particular GUI. So you need not write any command like mvn install, mvn test, you need not write any commands. Directly right click run as and you can click whichever option that you want while you are building. Now all this if you want to do it manually, otherwise we can do it automatic where it follows every step that is involved. So what are the various steps that you have uh, in your life cycle of your maven? You have clean, compile, test, package, install and deploy. But after all of this your project is now ready onto your market to actually work with. Okay? Now let us understand about these jar files and this war files. So I told you while you are uh, packaging, while you are performing MVN package, one of the step in your uh, maven build life cycle, the output of it that means what your package is doing, whatever the tested byte code of your project is there that is being packed into a single executable file so that you can directly deploy it in whichever server or in, in whichever place you want ok. So generally the output of this package will be a jar file war file ok. So let us understand what are these jars, words and all. So talking about the first one which is called as the jar file. So the abbreviation of your jar file is java archive ok. So basically if you are developing a java applica application for a standalone system, standalone application ok for a desktop ok or for a laptop for a standalone uh, application if you are developing then the output of your package will be jar file ok. Now say suppose you are developing uh, a web application right where you have to deploy your project in a web server then the output of your package will be the war file. War means web application archive ok. So jar file is for standalone applications, war file is for web applications right. Now while converting this jar files and war files and all your uh, whatever the maven build tool is there that will automatically create one folder which is called as the target folder as you can see here ok. So the target folder is automatically created by your maven build tool. Inside this target folder you can see here the final jar copy of your project is created. Along with that whatever other dependencies are there for your particular project all these are stored in the target folder. So target folder contains the complete output file of your particular project which is now ready for deployment. So this is an example of a standalone application. So the output of it you can see is dot jar here ok. So this is all about your uh, jar war files which are created under a folder which is called as target ok. Now let us talk about maven repositories. Now I was talking about maven build tool which automatically searches and downloads the libraries that you want for your particular project. Now where are these libraries? These libraries are basically stored under maven repositories. So you, you have uh, two main types of maven repositories, one is the local repository. So whenever I ask for a particular library related to my particular project, your maven build tool first will search in the local repository which is nothing but your in your computer. So when you download uh, and install maven certain libraries will be downloaded along with the particular package. So in your local repository it will search, say suppose that library is not there in that local repository then it will search for the central repository ok. Even if it does not find in the central repository then it will search for other remote repositories from where it can get that particular library. So let me give you a glance of how your central library of your maven will actually look like. So this is your maven repository and this is the central. So whatever you want you can search here manually get that copy of that library and add it to your pom.xml file ok. How this all happens we will show you in hands on uh, in your lab sessions. So this is basically your central repository of your maven right. So let us wind up this session talking about the last concept of installing and configuring your maven right. So if you want to install maven what you have to do is you have to go to the of official website of it which is called as the apache maven right. 
just search it in your Google. You will go, it will redirect you to this particular page. Download the zip file and then unzip it. Okay. Once that is done, the next thing you have to do is to set the environmental variables. Just like how you do for Java. You create Java path, you set the bin, uh, bin file in your path. If the same way you have to do it for Maven also. You have to create Maven home and you have to set path of your bin file of your Maven in this path in your environmental variable. So this is also you have to do a same like your Java also. Okay. And lastly, if uh, you want to check if Maven is successfully installed in your computer, just simply type mvn hyphen version okay so you if you get the version of your particular maven that means maven is successfully installed in your computer okay so in the next session we will talk about how to create uh, maven java projects and maven web projects using eclipse ide thank you